All right, so we're gonna head up to Arch Rock. You access the trail from the road, or also from White Tank Campground. Because we've got our little lizards here. Hello. Okay, and it's, um, you know, not steepest incline, but it's a little, little uphill. Very sandy, gravelly. And you're gonna find all our boulders and our cat claw and our Mojave Yucca, Silver Chola, right? Here we got our black bush and our creosote bushes. And there's lots of little plaques here about what's going on. The formation of the granite cliffs from the magma. Cool. Here's an Engelmann's hedgehog cactus, Econoceros Engelmannii. Here's our cat claw, Acacia grigii. Here's our desert mistletoe, Phordendron californicum. He's got little berries on him that our final peplo will eat later on. And we have a little jojoba here, our jojoba, as I like to say. And here's our little cheese bush. All right, cheese bush. It smells like Roquefort. Yep, that's our cheese bush. Black bush. And another Joshua tree. Here we got a guy up here on our yucca, singing away. Listen to him. Beautiful. So the trail continues all along our boulders here. If you're lucky, you'll find a few lizards like the Mojave fringe toad lizard. And here you're going to find this yellow sort of algae or fungus, and this is called a lichen on these rocks. Different colors, you'll get yellow, orange, a little bit reddish. So up here on the trail, of course, you're going to find heart rock. Here's a giant split rock, but it's not the official split rock. We're going to check out later on our tour. Another little split rock. All right, out here to arch rock. Here's an alien desert trumpet. He's called a bottle stopper. He's got this big bulb right here, it's like a bottle stopper, and he branches out. Comes up, got some new growth going in. It'll flower soon. Here we have a double split rock. Kind of split on the left and on the right. Got a wheel right in between. So we took a wrong turn. So to go back to Arch Rock, we gotta head back to the trail and uh, get up there. Hey, here's a better alien trumpet. He's all green and coming up, look at that. Beautiful rosette. The base of his plant, he's got a long stem. Here's his little bottle stopper. He's coming out. He's got tiny, tiny little flowers. Wow. I love this plant. So on this rock is a good example to show you how the soil is kind of disappearing. If you look right here, there's a line. Above that's called desert varnish, and below that was the soil layer. Okay, and the soil is just uh, subsiding as it all washes away. It's beautiful rocks. There he goes. Hey, check this out. We got a little chuckwalla. Let's see how close I get to him before he runs away. Oh. All right, see how fat he is in the center? So when he goes under a rock or in a hole, he bloats himself up so he can't dig him out. And his tail is kind of fat. 
because that's where he stores his food when he can't get any more. Like yeah. He's like a puffer fish. That's cool. See, I learned something. So here we have our truck. And it's just a product of wind and rain erosion. So this is not done. Eventually just erode away and no longer be arch rock. You see here, it's really crowded, even on a weekday. So plan your visits accordingly.